What's up guys, today is Friday. Finally, Friday, the very best day of the week. Today is Snap-on Friday, so Hamilton's here, so let's go take a look and see what he's got. Hey everybody, how you doing? Like I said, Snap-on Friday, we're here today, we got one of our newer products. I ordered this one a little bit while back. It been sitting here in Clay's shop over on a pallet. You heard me talk about it a few weeks ago. Uh, got it out. I'm gonna take it home with me today. Try to sell this dude to somebody. That's a TJ100 transmission jack. Uh, one half ton, like all the other one half ton jacks on the market out there, is gonna pick up 1,000 pounds. Uh, 75 inches height, lift height. Most of them only 71 inches lift height. This one will drop down to 35 inches as far as all the way down. Most other jacks, it stops at 40. Um, five inch poly wheels, so that's real handy. And you got that rough sounding, rough riding, yeah. like you do with a lot of the solid lowers. steel wheels. Now, I'm gonna get this thing down a little bit lower so we can look at it on a few different things. You got a handle right here to help you turn it. Super easy to turn. Uh, I mean, it, it, it surprised me a little bit how easy it was to turn. We got a few different adjustments on here far as you got arms on all four arms on the side you got a little lever right here press it in they slide in slide out to whatever you want it to the width you want it to go to and also got levers on the side press it in up down whatever height you want to use it on another super amazing thing i like about it is a little adapter on the side uh, as far as tilting them in all four sides have all four have all these adjustments right here uh, so you can have one all the way in all the way down the other one all the way out and all the way up if you need to uh, super heavy duty jack as far as the tilt forward and backwards is super easy I mean mm -hmm. I, you can't get over how easy this thing is to adjust left and right and forward and backwards nice. ask your dealer about them now uh, near products some dealers already got them out there some's just now getting them super nice dude we we'll get this bad boy sold to somebody. Show them how fast that thing pumps, like how fast go, it goes up. Going up, I mean, super easy. I mean, you're looking at at least an inch and a half, two inches at each pump right there. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna take very long to get all up to the top. I get over here and show them how it drops with the and that far pedal. down button. Uh, let me get another lever right here. Just press it. That with no weight on it, it's coming down like that. Yeah, that thing is fine. Bam, bam, bam. That thing will be sold in no time. We hoping it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sold your jack display yet, have you? Now I ordered a three ton. I got a guy that was, he liked a jack. Uh, he wouldn't take me up on a deal though if he can get it off and towed it from the truck to the shop without touching ground one handed, he could have it. <laughs> but we ordered him a three ton. He said four ton is just a little bit too big and too much for what he's wanting. Yeah. But, We'll have his jack for him next week. That's a nice jack, though. It is. It's a big jack. Big jack. Ooh, got a big old hole here again. We unloaded the black tow box with the great drawers and the orange trim out of here this morning. Uh oh, no, uh, it didn't last long, did it? Nah, not even a full week. <laughs> Young fellow, his first tow box he ever bought. He was super excited about it. I was uh, happy to uh, be the one selling the first one he got. Well, he got a nice box. Yeah, he it's did. He's nice. Tennessee fan, unfortunately, but he fell in love with it, and <laughs> it is what it is. I heard that. Got some new trays up there, don't you? Even for a ratchet and ratchet extension and trays. Extension. Yep. Those are nice. I had a guy who wanted a green one, or two green ones, actually. So I ordered three green ones and then one of all the other colors so we can uh, uh -oh. let everybody see them. Bill be wanting one of them green ones. Yeah, he'll be wanting a green one, too. Those are nice. Really nice. Got another plier rack in. So them things th worth our money right there. Yeah. Them things are fine. I got one behind you too, because ever since I've been sorting my hair, it's been about one a week I've been selling, so. And they hard to beat. Yeah. One guy, he had a great idea on his box. He had a deep drawer for his pliers. He said he had some long pliers too. He cut his in half and double stacked them long ways. Yeah. So we can take all his long pliers and still stack them in their long ways. So that's a good idea. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Sure right, is. Hey, so I'm gonna keep running around here for it. Holy smokes, at the socks. 
Yeah, you got them in, didn't you? Yeah, we got the socks in. What are you doing there, big boy? He said, I'm excited. Snap on. Snap on treats for the best. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, I know you what you do. Look at all the socks. Good Lord. He got them on there. Yeah, he do. Mm -hmm. I had a guy this morning, I had a, a whole bag of the short pink ones also. He bought the bag of short pink ones. I said, you sure you want pink? He said, yeah. He said, that, the same one about the toolbox. He said, my daddy and both my brothers always steal my socks. He said, ain't none going to steal my pink socks. I said, what are you going to do about uh, everybody else seeing them? He said, we're boots and pants. He said, ain't no going to steal my pink socks. There you go. He said, but I know where they'll be at, though. <laughs> it's pretty smart. I said, well. Pretty I got smart. guys who buy pink toes so other people don't take them out of their box. There you go. Well, I got a set of, well, I ain't got a set of pink screwdrivers like him. Shy does. I use them all. They work just as good. They work good. Especially when you need a screwdriver. I don't care yeah. what color it is. <laughs> as long as you ain't got easy takes to get it out, you're doing real good. That's right. So you don't have any more of the short pink ones? Mm, no, I got some, but there's only like a few pairs. Already had. Bill's gonna wear a pink sock. No, I'm not gonna wear no pink sock. I don't <laughs> care if anybody says I'm not wearing no pink sock. <laughs> Bill's gonna wear a pink sock. No, I'm not gonna wear no pink sock. I don't <laughs> care if anybody says I'm not wearing no pink sock. You ain't secure in your manhood, Bill. I mean, you want me? He didn't even answer that. Did you not think <laughs> it was just a. Oh. <laughs> I'm concentrating. Christmas presents. Just two of them? Yeah. He, you didn't even answer that. You was just what, silent. What you? What was the question? I was concentrating on the When socks. he said you ain't securing your manhood enough to wear pink socks. It wasn't even like a sound that came out. Yeah, I'm really? securing enough in my manhood to wear pink socks. God. You gonna wear pink socks next Friday, Bill? He's got some long ones, Bill. I'm not fixing to buy any pink socks. <laughs> if somebody give them to me, I would wear them. <laughs> Bill's going to wear pink socks. No, I'm not going to wear no pink socks. I don't care if anybody says I'm not wearing no pink socks. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy any. I don't know, if I Bill. give you a pair, would you show everybody you wore them next Friday on camera? <laughs> if you gave me a pair, I would. Well, I'd give you a pair of them so we can all see it. <laughs> there you go, Bill. <laughs> He gotta raise his pants legs and show everybody. He's gonna have to show it. <coughs> What's wrong, Bill? <laughs> he choked up over here. <laughs> so you gonna wear them next Friday? I'll wear them next Friday. Then I'll donate them to the wife. To the wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. It's <laughs> uh, funny. Pink's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. Another thing we got this week from Shark Carrying. I'm kind of a Daytona one dealer. Uh, the other guy, this is a Snap-on franchise, but he owns a race team too. He invented mm -hmm. some of these products right here. As far as like the, what he invented was the D-180 all-purpose degreaser. Yeah. That's some bad stuff. That's what you cleaned that toolbox with. Yep. That day. That's some bad stuff. I've been carrying that and this right here for a while. Uh, I sold this to a lot of folks, like used car guys and stuff like that. They were talking about spraying on engine covers and make mm -hmm. them look brand new again. I never really thought that much about it. I washed my side by side up the last faded camouflage. Sprayed this on it, wiped it down, and it looked like it's brand new camouflage again now. Wow. That was a week and a half ago. I've been sitting out in the rain for two days and walked by this morning on the way to the truck and I was like, I mean it still looks just as good as it did after I sprayed it the other day. Good stuff. Yeah, I got wheel cleaner, dirt off. So like if uh dirt track racers or I'm gonna start using it on my car, spraying them back behind the rear tire where the rubber gets stuck to the car. I'm gonna spray it on the underside of my side by side too for when you're hunting, get any dirt on it. They said you put it on there, spray it on there, and just wash it off a water hose. Is that you know easy? How you can uh, keep keep that rubber off your back fenders, don't you? Don't be spinning. Mm -mm, go buy you a shovel and you don't have to worry about turning. Oh over. yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's very true. Easy there. You got a uh, air tool and then. Uh, like wax and swirl, swirl removal. Uh, spray it on there, wipe it off. That's what it says. It's that easy. I haven't never used any of these besides the plastic restore and the degreaser. I use the degreaser for everything. And that stuff works great. So I'm gonna take it that the rest of them work great too, but we're gonna try them out there. 
give them a test, huh? We're going to give them a test and see what they're all about, how good it really is. We like tests. I haven't washed my Dodge in, what, six, eight months. And all the trailers are full. My front wheel is pretty dark from brake dust. And he sent me a video on this right here, spraying it on there, um, and taking the pressure washer and sprinting it off in the pressure washer. And yeah. made the front, I mean, wheels were just super clean. Wheel cleaner. Well, no scrubbing, huh? He said that you might have to on some of them if they're uh, bad, really, bad. really bad. He said, but spray them on there first, let it sit. Spray it with the pressure washer. Let's see where you're at. Hmm. Real good thing about these is, uh, you see right here on the bottom of them, made in the USA. Man, yeah, we like to see that. What it's all about. Mm-hmm. Got Bluetooth speakers. Them have been very hot. Mm -hmm. I put, I showed y'all one that just one the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was the red one you had. Yeah. I got it at the house. I don't keep it for myself. I started with 12 of them Friday. I got four left right now. Wow. I mean, tw Wednesday. Today's Friday. 12 of Christmas them presents? That or self presents. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no Christmas presents good as one to buy yourself, is it? I don't know. I guess it depends on how much. Uh, how much it is. How much it is, and <laughs> if that's what you want it or not. Yeah. Sometimes I'd buy stuff I don't even want. Don't you, Bill? Like toilet paper? No. Yep. I hate toilet paper. You know, in garbage bags, I think that's the only thing you ever buy just to throw away. You ever thought about <laughs> it like that? Well, that's true. I mean, it is. It's probably what old timers used to burn their trash. They just put it in the drum and go dump it in the fire pit and burn it. <laughs> and that's by garbage bags. That's right. Garbage food. bags, you buy it just to turn around and throw it away. I ain't never thought about it, but that's... Mm-hmm. At least other stuff, laundry detergent, you get something good out of it. Toilet Every, paper, you're still getting something good out of it. Everything has to revolve around like tool money, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you have to look at it like <laughs> <laughs> Don't get no warranty on garbage bags. <laughs> no. You buy it, just turn around and throw it away. That is pretty bad right there. Sure enough. I ain't never thought about it. I'm going to get you to check that price on that one inch impact, too. Since our new Ingersoll ran has done died. I mean, it lasts, what, five months, did it, Bill? We can get is a uh, pitiful PT 1800 AL 18 uh, pounds, so it's super light. That's what we're basing it off of. Um, easier to use, ain't gonna break your back using it all day. 1800 foot pounds, um, strong enough, may not be the strongest gun on the market, but it's strong enough to get almost everything done that you need them to. But like I said, what we're going off of is the uh, 18 pounds, ain't gonna break your back having to use that dude all day long. Yeah. You see what he had up here, Bill? You got your drill up there. Yep. Wrong color. Wrong color. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> hey, if it was if it was at the uh, high vis or the green, yep. Well, well, well. You know what? Yeah. Special order bill. Yeah. SOB. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for everybody that's been wanting the price of the camouflage snap-on hat, or the part number of these hats, we well, finally got a chance to get them. So, Hamilton is going to hook y'all up. The part number on the hat is SW92929359. If you do want to buy a whole pack of them 12 at a time, how we buy them, SW972551. You can take your pick on whichever 12-pack or singles. There you go. So that's the part number. Are you nervous? Me? I don't know. I ain't nervous. Hey. If he does it, I mean, it's a deal. A deal's a deal if he does it. We're going to see what he got, though. So tell everybody what the, what the deal is, because you the, made the bet. Yep. I've been telling everybody, oh, we got this FJ400, our new four-ton floor jack. Uh, as low as three and a half to four inches, it picked up 25 inches. It's 136 pounds without the handle. Uh, pretty heavy duty jack. This is a stout jack. We picked it up, picked up quite a few heavy things this week with them. Just trying them out, just seeing what they'll do. I've uh, been very surprised. Been making a deal with everybody. We got it. If you can unload it and carry it to your truck one handed without it touching the ground, you get a free jack. 
They're 850. I got it on sale right now for 750 for my customers only. Uh, nobody been able to do it all week. Oh, SLB. Special order. Did you hit your spending today, Bill? No, sure didn't. Uh -oh. <laughs> So you got to tote the jack and the handle with one hand to his pickup without yep. dropping it. Or setting it down. Oh, wait a minute. Setting it down one-handed? Huh? Getting it off of here one-handed? Yeah, we got to do it off. Well, you can't grab it one-handed right there. You hey. can get it off one-handed. One hmm? I got it off one-handed. I couldn't carry it very far one-handed, though. Uh-oh. Are, are you going to back up, Bill? I might, because I don't see how you're going to get it off one-handed. You can get it off one-handed. Hmm. No, wait a minute. You said get it off one I can get it off one-handed, but I have to use the foot. You didn't say nothing about using, not using the foot. No, one-handed. It's like one-handed and one-legged. <laughs> <laughs> Does that come with a tube of preparation H? <laughs> that, you gotta get that on your own. <laughs> Get it in there. Get it in there. Yeah. They got it, y'all. <laughs> Bill got it. Look at them big old muscles they got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Papa. We're not going to mess up no more. He might get mad at us now. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't get the handle on. Oh, uh, he didn't get the handle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, forgot the handle, Bill. Bill. Tell me to have to do it again. <laughs> or is it just one shot? That's all uh, you get at, just one shot. That's how everybody else been getting out with just one. Yeah. What'd you say, Bill? What'd you say? I called for a retry because I didn't know where the handle was. Man, that sucks. You had it too, Bill. I know. You had it. I know it. I said, well, at least you can tote it back two-handed. He said, no, nah, hell, he'll have to back up so I can load it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to do the drawing for the 26 and 1, or I'm sorry, 12 and 1. We uh, torch bit. I'm going to let Hamilton pick the winner. Um, I had 52 pages of entrance so pick a number between one and 52. we're we'll gonna go with number 26 i'm gonna split it right down the middle all right so one two three four five six eight nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, six and i got one two three on that page so pick a number between one and three uh now we'll go with number one being that number one's my favorite number number one so that's going to be Roland Ramblers, Roland underscore Ramblers. So DM me on Instagram and uh, we'll get your shipping address and get it sent to you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. All right, guys. As y'all seen, Hamilton's got a lot of goodies today and Bill got some pink socks. So y'all be watching for next Friday. Bill will be wearing hot pink socks. He'll model them for y'all. You going to model them, Bill? Yes, sir. There right, you got it. Bill's going to model the hot pink socks. Like always, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It don't cost you not one single dime. Hope you all have a great weekend. Catch you all next time.